On this Debaco University video, we're going to go over THCV and THCVA cannabinoid and give you kind of some insights into the potential future because we're not exactly sure where this one might be going. So hopefully you find this video lecture interesting. All right, let's get into THCV and THCVA cannabinoids. Now, if you're really interested in cannabinoids and want to learn more, this is a great research article. You're welcome to check out with some more details uh, for this cannabinoid as well as others uh, that you might find on this channel. But this is a great kind of information with the citation here in reference so you can go through and learn all about the cannabinoids that you want. So first off, looking at THCV, the active form of THCVA has been shown to have psychoactive effect and an impact on modulating the CB1 receptors, but it has shown to be a fraction of the strength of THC. So while it does have some um, similarities to THC, it's clearly not as strong. Um, so it does have some of those psychoactive effects, which is looking in the future, uh, will this be regulated is something to consider if this is shown to have psychoactive effects, even though it may not be as strong as those found in the THC molecule. So THCV and diabetes, so there are some benefits. It has been shown uh, to kind of ameliorate insulin sensitivity in at least mouse models, indicating that it may prove to be an effective treatment for diabetes, or at least a contributing factor to reducing the negative effects of diabetes. Additionally, it's been found to be both a stimulant and an appetite suppressant. So again, just other things to kind of look at. We can see some things listed right here, uh, and this does warrant further research. However, looking at the future, uh, particularly with uh, THCV uh, and other variant type cannabinoids are being eagerly studied currently. Oregon CBD has currently released a variety of polyploid hemp that will express the variant type cannabinoids, but they are focused on CBDV production. It is difficult to predict whether or not uh, THCV will be tightly regulated or not, as it does have some psychoactive potential. Not as strong as THC, but some psychoactive potential may uh, cause it to be regulated going forward, and that's why it should be cautiously studied and look at the true medical benefits. Uh, but again, having the psychoactive makes uh, some researchers and some breeders a little wary that it might be regulated in the future. So this is might limit some of the initial breeding that occurs, but it should not limit uh, any potential chance for beneficial clinical trials.